5. This is a circuit question, and the purpose of this question is to troubleshoot the circuit. So imagine you are called to the LRT and then got collision happen. That was what happened in Malaysia recently. You are supposed to check if the relay coil works. Okay? So this is the length of track. Okay, like this is a model. Okay, model, model. Length of track of a model railway connected to a battery, a resistor, and a relay coil. Okay, let me stop you for a bit. And if you don't know what a relay coil is, a relay coil is a remote switch. You can treat it as a remote switch unless you go and watch the A2 video about relay coils. Okay, so remote switch means I use one circuit to turn on another circuit without touching it. For example, your aircon. You take your remote control and press the aircon. Do you touch the aircon? No. So relay coil works like a remote switch. Okay, treat it as it now. So if there is current, then the switch will turn on. No current, switch don't turn on. All right. So with no train present, there is a current in the relay coil. In fact, they tell you how the relay coil behave one, which operate a switch to turn on a light. Okay, so basically we turn on the light when there is no train. A bit like logic gate questions. Lah. So read the property first. When a train occupies a section of the track, so let's say I put a train here, a section of the track or. Oh, Maybe a train is here. Actually, I don't know whether the train is like this or like this. Now. But I guess it doesn't matter. So when there is train, most of the current will flow through the wheels. Okay, interesting. Most of the current flows through the wheels and the axle of the train in preference to the relay coil. Oh, so huh? <clears throat> if you have a train here, it means your train looks like a box. Shh. I'm not good at drawing. Okay, so the current prefers the wheel to the relay coil. So the current that comes out from this circuit will be like, hmm, should I flow through the train body, the train wheels, and return to the negative terminal? Yes, I would like to bypass the relay coil. Maybe the relay coil's resistance is very, very big. Okay, so in the absence of train, this is how your current will flow. If there's no train, the current will go like this thing. thing. No choice, huh? must go through the long journey, through the coil, come back out. Wow, so tired, man. Yellow. So this is no train. But this relay coil is on. Got train. Okay, bad English, but you get the point. There is a train. Then there's no current flowing through the relay coil. Relay coil is off. Okay. So the question here is, why is there a resistor? Why is there a resistor? Let me highlight the resistor differently. Why is there a resistor placed between the battery and the track? Okay, let's look through it one by one. Option A, to limit the heating of the wheels of the train. Mm, okay, option B, to limit the energy loss in the relay coil when the train is present. Ha, option B is wrong now. You see, uh, when the train is present, there is no current in the relay coil. So when there's a train here, our well, beautiful train is present here, this relay coil is off. So B is wrong. When train present, No current in relay. Hiya. Okay, no, 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 no. Limit to prevent a short circuit of the battery when a train is present. Okay, here's the thing. If I know that the current totally don't want to go to the relay coil, this tells me that the relay coil has large resistance. Very, very big resistance. Ne? current flow in preference to the relay coil. This sentence show me uh, the resistance of relay is very big. When given a choice or no current want to go also, resistance of relay is large. This means if you remove the relay from the pathway of the current, 
the current will suddenly become very big. So if relay is not part of the current flow, part of the circuit, I is very, very, very large because the resistance of the relay is very large. And what happens when the current is very large? Maybe it will spoil the power supply. Maybe it will spoil something. Maybe it will electrocute a passenger who accidentally, I don't know how, touched the wheel of the train. So basically, C is very viable to prevent short circuit of the battery when the train is present. To protect relay when the train is present, also wrong, no? Because why? When train is present, no current in the relay. So relay is like a switch that turn on and turn off. Limit heating of wheels to the train. Um, I actually think that whether you put a resistor or not, the train, the main reason why the wheels of the train gets hot is because it goes round and round. The heating of the wheels of the trains, when it goes round and round, there's friction. Mainly due to friction. It has nothing or little to do with the current. Come on, man, it's a very big train. He doesn't care about the current, dude. So mainly due to friction between the wheel and track. Okay, the wheels of the train will heat up. Maybe the current only contribute 1%. 99% is friction, okay? Unless you're talking about the magnetic levitation train. That one, different train, lah, different system. But this one, it's a regular train. And some more, some more, it's a model train. Okay, so the main reason here is we want to prevent short circuit when the relay is no longer part of the circuit. Because the relay resistance is very large, you take it away, this current will become very, very big to protect. So basically, we want option D, which is to protect the circuit from large current.